Schluter Ditra is specifically designed to allow the installation of ceramic and stone tile over any even and load-bearing substrate. The first step in a successful project is planning. The Schluter Ditra installation handbook includes comprehensive installation guidelines and warranty criteria. The planning process starts by searching for the detail applicable to your project based on the substrate, tile type, and other factors. All requirements in the handbook are important. Please pay close attention to the setting materials and movement joints requirements when planning any DITRA project. After finding the applicable DITRA installation handbook detail and confirming that all requirements can be met, we can create a list of materials and quantities. When installing DITRA, the following tools are commonly used. A tape measure, a marker, a utility knife or scissors, buckets, one half inch electric drill and mixing paddle suitable for thin set mortar, a margin trowel, a DITRA trowel or one quarter inch by 3 16 V-notch trowel, a wood or magnesium float, a chalk line reel, hairspray, a notch trowel for tile setting, and a grout float. Project planning is now complete. Now we're ready to prepare for the installation. It is important to have a perimeter movement joint throughout the tile assembly. One option, as shown here, is to fasten a strip of sill seal, a compressible polyethylene gasket, to the surrounding walls to ensure a consistent joint along the perimeter. The substrate must be clean, even, and load-bearing. Any leveling of the subfloor must be done prior to installing DITRA. Sweep the floor to remove any debris. Measure and cut the matting using a utility knife or scissors. Clean any dust from the substrate with a damp sponge. Now we're ready to begin the installation. DITRA is installed simply and easily with thinset mortar. Any of the Schluter thinset mortars can be used for installation of the matting over concrete. If you are not using a Schluter mortar, an unmodified thinset mortar is used to install the matting over concrete. Always verify the proper type of mortar required to install DITRA based on the substrate. The mortar is mixed to a fairly fluid consistency, but still able to hold a notch. A 1 quarter inch by 3 16 inch V-notch trowel, or the Schluter Dietra trowel, which features a 4.5 mm by 4.5 mm square notch design, is used to apply the mortar. Apply a thin layer of the mortar with the flat side of the trowel to produce solid contact with the substrate, and then comb additional mortar using the notch side of the trowel. Apply the DITRA fleece side down and solidly embed in the mortar using a float or the DITRA roller. When using the DITRA roller, place a weight on the shelf and slowly move the roller from one end of the matting to the other, slightly overlapping successive passes. Bags of thin-set mortar or grout or boxes of tile can be used as weight, provided the total weight is kept under 75 pounds. Make sure to observe the open time of the thin-set mortar. If the mortar skins over, remove and reapply fresh mortar before installing the membrane. The risk of skinning is increased when installing a longer run of DITRA. Applying the mortar and embedding the membrane in shorter sections will help avoid this problem. When bonding DITRA to particularly dry, porous concrete, the slab should be moistened to saturate the concrete and help prevent premature drying of the mortar. Excess or standing surface water must be removed prior to installation. Lift up a corner of the membrane to check coverage. Proper installation results in full contact between the fleece webbing and the thin-set mortar. Re-embed the membrane. Coverage may vary with mortar consistency, 
angle at which the trowel is held, membrane application, and other factors. If full coverage is not achieved, remove and reapply, making sure to observe proper installation techniques. For DITRA XL, use a 1 quarter inch by 1 quarter inch square notch trowel or the DITRA Heat DITRA XL trowel, which features a 1 quarter inch by 1 quarter inch square notch design. This process is repeated over the entire floor. Since we'll be installing a movement joint profile at the floor-to-wall transition, we need to cut the sill seal above the DITRA. Otherwise, we would leave the gasket in place until after the tile was set and grouted. The installation of the DITRA membrane is now complete. Floors can be made fully waterproof with DITRA if desired by sealing seams and floor-to-wall transitions with Schluter Curdy waterproofing accessories. The Curdy accessories can be installed using any of our Schluter thin-set mortars or an unmodified thin-set mortar. The mortar is mixed to a fairly fluid consistency, but still able to hold a notch. A 1 quarter inch by 3 16 inch V-notch trowel or the Schluter Curdy trowel, which features a 1 8 inch by 1 8 inch square notch design, is used to apply the mortar. Apply thin set mortar to the area where the Schluter Curdy carrot corners are to be installed. Fill the cavities in the DITRA matting and comb additional mortar using the notch side of the trowel. Embed the Curdy carrot into the thin set mortar using the flat side of the trowel or a drywall finishing knife. Corner installation may be simplified by holding one side of the corner in place while embedding the other side of the corner in the mortar. Schluter Curdy Band waterproofing strips are used to seal seams and floor-to-wall connections. The band may be creased prior to installation to help maintain tight corners and simplify subsequent tile setting. Apply thin set mortar to the area where the curdy band is to be installed. Embed the curdy band in the thin set mortar using the flat side of the trowel to ensure full coverage and remove air pockets. Note that a 2 inch overlap can be achieved at curdy carrot corners without continuing the curdy band all the way to the corner. This will limit buildup of the membrane in these areas. This process is repeated at remaining floor-to-wall transitions and DITRA seams. Always ensure that a minimum 2-inch overlap is achieved at all locations. The waterproofing application is now complete. Tile may be installed immediately over DITRA using any of our Schluter thin-set mortars or an unmodified thin-set mortar. We have already figured out our tile layout and have applied chalk lines to guide our installation. Hairspray helps ensure the chalk doesn't easily wipe off the membrane. The hairspray will not act as a bond breaker because the thin set mortar is mechanically locked into the top of the membrane. Fill the cutback cavities with thin set mortar. Then comb additional mortar over the matting using a notched trowel that is appropriate for the size of the tile. Back buttering large format tiles is a useful way to help ensure proper coverage. The skim coat can fill in the concave area on the back of the tile and improve contact with the mortar combed on the substrate. Solidly embed the tiles in the setting material, making sure to observe the open time of the mortar. Slide the tile back and forth to collapse the mortar ridges and transfer the mortar to the back of the tile. Periodically remove a tile to check coverage. Run a margin trowel through the bond coat and slide the tile before pulling up to avoid creating tension on the surface of the DITRA. This is especially important soon after the matting installation. Proper installation results in full coverage of the mortar to the back of the tile. Industry standard guidelines for ceramic tile require a minimum of 80% coverage in dry areas and 95% coverage in wet areas. 
Tile edges and corners must be fully supported. If sufficient coverage is not achieved, remove the tile and reapply, making sure to verify proper mortar consistency, application, and tile embedding techniques. Consider back buttering large format tiles. Continue setting the remaining tile. Profiles are a useful tool to enhance any floor tile installation. DITRA does not eliminate the need for movement joints within the tile covering. This includes perimeter joints at restraining surfaces, such as walls. As an alternative to sealant, Schluter Dialex movement joint profiles accommodate movement and protect tile edges, resulting in a permanent, maintenance-free installation. Dialex EKE creates a discrete, uniform joint at floor-to-wall transitions. Dialex BWS matches common grout joint widths and is available in a variety of colors, allowing it to blend into the tile field. Because ceramic and stone tiles are inherently brittle, their exposed edges can chip and crack if left unprotected. Transitions between floor surfaces and at thresholds are particularly vulnerable to damage. Schluter Systems offers a variety of floor profiles to provide edge protection and transitions at thresholds and between adjacent surfaces. For example, Schluter Reno TK is designed to provide a smooth transition from tile coverings to floor coverings at lower elevations, typically carpet. Wall profiles like Schluter Rondek or Quadek make it possible to create a tile base using field tiles without ceramic trim. This simple approach increases the utility of the room and produces a clean, finished appearance. Ceramic and stone tiles are the ideal surface coverings because they're beautiful, durable, hygienic, and easy to maintain. However, the long-term performance of the covering depends on the installation method. The integration of Schluter Dietra's uncoupling, waterproofing, vapor management, and support functions ensures consistent success over common tile substrates. With over 25 years as the industry leader in uncoupling technology, Schluter Systems remains committed to providing innovative solutions for floor tile applications that meet the needs of the installer.